for today's video, I'm going to be telling you someone else's paranormal experience. And again, it's someone that lives in my hometown. And this story is a little more on the spooky side. So I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. And it's a little more creepy for me because this took place in the same location of the road that I was chased by the shadow figure on. So if you haven't saw any of those videos and you're interested in my shadow figure experience, I'll leave a video here for you to check out either now or later, whichever you prefer. But basically, I was chased by a shadow figure on this road and apparently this road is a hot spot for very weird and unusual activity. So, I just wanted to tell you this story and just in case you've forgotten what the area kind of looks like, I will insert a clip here. So most of my stories that I've shared with you guys so far all happened in the straightaway area, like actually on the roadway at this location. So this story takes place at the old house that used to stand there, and I've talked about the old house formation in some of my previous videos, you may recall, but this was years ago, way before my shadow figure experience, and this man was a teenager at the time. And this house was still standing at the time, and it was just an old abandoned house that became a common place for teenagers to go because it's so secluded and nobody could really find you there. So this gentleman decides that he is going to take his date to the secluded area. So he said he spent his day scrubbing down his car. He was all excited about his date, and they get in the car and head to this old abandoned house. There have never been any bad stories about it or anything like that. It was just a place for teenagers to go and be somewhere hidden and kind of unknown. So he takes his date there and they end up going into the house for some reason. They just decide they're going to explore. But that was something he regrets. He said he got in there and the whole entire room that they went in, they just went into one room and he said the entire walls were covered in Bible scripture. So just like wallpaper, Bible pages were just covering the entire walls. He said that it was just seamless. It was just as if it were actual wallpaper, but it was pages from the Bible. They continued to explore, even though they thought that was a little eerie, and they decided that, you know, maybe it's time to get out of there, so they picked up a random souvenir, which happened to be a cassette tape and they just picked it up, kind of put it in his coat pocket, and he said he was ready to get out of there at that point. He got a souvenir, ready to go. So he goes out, and make note that I said before they got there, before he picked up his date, he scrubbed his car that he was so proud of, and when he came out, he said that there was baby footprints and handprints just out of mud all over his entire car. Just, he said there was not one inch that wasn't covered. Just handprints and footprints like a baby had been all over the car. And, yeah. So, he was absolutely terrified. And, as anyone would probably be if that happened. But, they hurried and got out of there. Went back to the house. And, when they decided to look more into the tape, somehow, I don't know how this came about, but they discovered with some help. I don't know who helped them or how it was discovered, but it was the book of Revelations being spoken backwards and they were told to return the tape, to never return to that location, and yeah. So they did just that. They hurried, returned the tape with a group of friends, and they vowed never to go back to that location, and they never did. So, that was a little creepy to find out because I've been at this house formation several times, but I've never really had an experience with the house formation itself. I don't know any stories besides this one with the house, but I just wanted to share it with you guys because it is completely eerie and it gives me the chills just thinking about it, but I definitely thought you guys would be interested in this one and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this story, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!